What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the year one celebration event that does start tomorrow, August the 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern. And this will be running until September the 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern. Uh, to get started with this, all you have to go in, uh, all you have to do is go into the crown store and get the uh, quest title, Sand, Snow, and Blood. And you'll be able to travel to any of these three zones as long as you own, you know, all three. Now, when it comes to owning all three, Imperial City and of course, Craglorn, are in the game for free. Craglorn was part of the base game. Imperial City, what, the DLC for it became free a couple years back. The only one you won't have access to for free will be Craglorn. Now they say the Craglorn DLC uh, itself or in a bundle will be on sale when the event starts. So just keep that in mind if you do not own the Craglorn zone just yet. For the event itself, of course, you want to get year one coffers when you complete various activities, things like completing the year one celebration intro quest, completing daily quests, defeating delve and world bosses, opening treasure chests, safe boxes or thieves troves, claiming a Sigic portal, harvesting a harvest node, defeating a boss in a Craglorn trial, defeating a boss in Dragonstar Arena or Maelstrom Arena, defeating a boss in either White Gold Tower or Imperial City Prison, or looting monsters or objects such as barrels, crates, you know, that kind of thing. When you receive a year one coffer, they have a chance to contain the following items, crafting materials, Imperial City key fragments, style items from the styles found within Rothgar, the Imperial City or Craglorn, zone gear set items, transmute crystals, valuables you can sell, of course, to the vendors for gold, motif chapters like Yokedon, Celestial, Regatta, Trinimac, Ancient Orc, Malakath, and of course, Exivian. Um, other things like the old Arisian weapon styles, the Maelstrom Arena weapon styles, and the Legion Zero armor styles. It says take heed each day you uh, first complete a daily quest in Rothgar, Craglorn, or Imperial City, you can receive one glorious coffer. It says in addition to the one, coffer, uh, one year coffers during the event period, the following activity bonus are, have rewards of, you know, things like double reward boxes for all daily quests in Rothgar, Imperial City, and Craglorn. Increased resource nodes, not including those from fishing holes or crafting materials obtained from creatures. Of course, bonus loot from world bosses, dungeon bosses, and delve bosses. Bonus loot from the chest in Maelstrom and Dragonstar Arena. This is a great time if you're going to, if you're still looking from thing, for things from Dragonstar or Maelstrom, you'll get that extra drop at the end. So maybe you'll get a, a you know, a lucky roll and end up getting what you want if you don't, the first item there is not what you need. So, you know, you have a good chance of getting something. From both of those arenas, it kind of extra, so you can have a, a chance of getting exactly what you need, finally. A bonus loot from bosses and Craglorn Trials, in addition to earning two coffers from the Trials Weekly Quest, bonus Tevlar Stones earned in Imperial City. Also, during the uh, Year 1 event, you'll be able to earn up to two tickets per day by completing the following. Uh, you earn one event ticket for completing a daily quest in Rothgar or Craglorn, and you will earn one ticket for completing a district daily quest in the Imperial City. So even if you do not own the Rothgar DLC, you're still going to be able to get both your event tickets because you just go do whatever you need to do in Craglorn. And then, of course, you're still going to have to go to Imperial City and do one of those district daily quests. So you still have the option to be able to complete your tickets and, and things. You don't have to worry about anything like that. You know, you don't have to worry about I don't own the DLC, so I'm not going to be able to, you know, complete all the stuff. You do have the option to be able to do it in just Craglorn and Imperial City. Uh, it says, of course, the daily uh quest will be split between the uh, city of Erysium, of course, in the stronghold. The event ticket timer resets at 2 a.m. Eastern, like always. Uh, of course, this time from the event vendor, we will get the unstable Morpholite base fragments, uh, including the Deadland Flint, Rune, Striker, of course, the Smoldering, Bloodgrass, Tinder. Uh, the first and second fragment for uh, the Morpholite to be upgraded again this time. So, of course, that's going to give us the option to be able to finally kind of upgrade that mount once more that's going to be the smoke uh the smoked griffin feather and the black iron bit and brittle uh, of course the old Arisian weapon style pages which cannot be traded in group repair kits this is the event is their second opportunity to, to acquire uh fragments required to upgrade your unstable morpholite to the new griffin mount of course guys that's pretty much all the info that's out for the event kind of pretty kind of an easy event pretty easy event anyway uh, kind of like some of the other base zone events we've had in the past or some of the other zone areas we've been into you don't have to really you know do too many extra things to be able to get your tickets you know you can get all, all all the things you need done fairly quickly every day but of course just keep in mind you can get those extra drops and you can get those uh, you know extra boxes and things if you hang out in these zones and do things all day so that's all, always a good way to be able to get extra stuff 
if you were, if there's things you're needing style pages whatever the case may be anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel empire jerky and i'll catch you next time peace